what is happening, folks? Uh, as you can see, doing ourselves a little group ride here. Ooh, whoop, whoop. Uh, I got my buddy Bat. Bat. My buddy Matt. His buddy Nick and his buddy Miguel. And uh, we're doing a little trip out west. Right now it's a highway, so it blows. But hats off to our, our leader in the, the hockey jersey, Rocker Jack Hughes. I myself have the, uh, the home of Etchkin. single and riding in group. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So there's a lot of good things about both. Um, personally, I think I like if you, if you find the right group, then riding in group is a lot of fun. Um, everybody that, that is equal, you know, somewhat equal skill riding into the same things, knows when to pass. You can trust them. They're not going to do something foolish. Yeah, because it, it is a learning curve that you got to grow with the people that you ride with. There's some people you don't know who are going to make sloppy turns or who's going to do something reckless or make the pass or, you know, not kick out their foot when they see dirt or something. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of factors that come into it. Um, you know, individual riding, you're, you're out there by yourself. Um, I guess the danger factor is a bit higher. In group, at least you got other people. You know, you're more visual to the cars. If somebody falls, you got there people there to help you. Um, so yeah, there's definitely some some pros. Um, I guess bad things about group riding is not much. It's really just it depends on the people you're riding with. If you're riding with some assholes, then yeah, they can get you into trouble. I mean, I'm not one to run from the cops. I don't think these guys are either. But if somebody's like, I'm running from the cops, I'm not doing that. And if they ask me who the fuck you are, I'm gonna rat it out. I'm not going to fucking jail because you decided to, you know, do a felony. Um, I get pulled over, I get a ticket, it's my own fucking fault. I shouldn't have done it. I'd probably still do it again. But you know, don't put me in the situation where I now have to be charged with a crime because you're an asshole. I don't know if I'd ride him out. Instead, it's not, I just met him at the gas station. That's what I'd say. Um, Individual riding, you got, you know, you can go wherever you want to go. You don't have to worry about anything, really. Um, you can get off the highway and stop whatever you want. You know, obviously, you gas whatever you want. It, it's, it's it's total freedom to do whatever you like. Where in group rides, sometimes you get on to situations where you're riding with guys and somebody's leading, and you don't you don't have any idea where you're going. I mean, I'm not loving this highway right now. I think it's going to, you know, turn into something a little bit more fruitful as we get, uh, further in our, our journey, but it's not like, you know, if, if I were riding by myself, I, for instance, I, I did a trip out to New Hampshire yesterday, and I forgot my SD card, and you're not getting any footage from it, and I'm pissed, but, um, I try to keep highway minimal, 
I mean, I did hit about 40 miles on the way out, 40 miles on the way in, and then for the most part, it was just back roads. Um, and that's usually, usually just how I roll, but on, on shorter rides where you need to get somewhere, you know, somewhere west earlier, it's better to do it just uh, via highway because you get there quicker. You know, it's, it's people have different tastes, different strokes, different folks. Ah, we could have made it. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, you know, pointers when you're, you know, finding people to ride with, ride with as many people as you can, you know, not at one time, but meet as many people as you can when you ride with, and that's when you find who you like to ride with, who you're comfortable with, and so on. Um, ride your own ride, obviously. If somebody's a bit reckless, then, you know, you don't have to be. Be safe. I'd keep the groups to about six. Six is a good number. Um, you get bigger than that, then you come to intersections and it's just a bunch of people breaking out into smaller groups. So yeah, I'd keep the group to somewhat minimal. Uh, when you, Again, big groups. You come to a red light, not everybody makes it. And then, you know, you gotta wait or you just kinda continue your ride. You know, sometimes there's those giant fucking groups that are pretty much Everybody's just individually riding and getting to the destination, so you're not really worrying about that. Yeah, so, Carter Senna. Uh, when it comes to comms, you know, people say Carter's a better, Senna's a better, whatever. But the biggest problem is when not everybody in your group has the same one. So we had to just do a phone call, and that was just, it didn't sound good. It was not uh, clear, you couldn't listen to music while you're doing it. So, if you and people you're, you know, if people you're riding with, and they have them already, let them set the tone and they can be the ones that choose what con you use. Because nothing's worse than doing the, the phone call. Uh, it's okay when you're popping around town, but you get on highways and stuff and it's just shit. That's a nice view. So the best part about being the tail gunner is you can kind of slow down and then speed up. So yeah, usually on group rides, I like to be the tail gunner just because you got the you got the option to slow down and, and speed burst through twisties and such. Uh -huh. You know, middle of the pack, obviously, you can do that to an extent, but uh, it's not its not the same. Well, that's a nice sight. Look at that. one day during the week where cars aren't allowed on the road and strictly motorcycles like an official day like in summer or something like that where it's deemed illegal to drive a car I think that would be uh, that would be quite nice <laughs> 